All right. Good evening. I, I wanted to show off a, a little tool. I mean, it's it's kind of it, it's really a small little tool, but it's really mm -hmm. helpful. You know, if you uh, here we go. Take a minute. So so this is it does the ticks and the circle bars, and uh, if you're creating your own uh, gauges, it's a great little tool. We'll just go ahead and grab that. And then uh, uh, you just uh, open this. Let's see. see, there's the app itself. So it's this folder when it is. And you just extract this folder. You can put it anywhere you want. It's a standalone app. So you just go in here and run it. Uh, why I'm getting that, I don't know. I've used this app. I know it's fine. Uh, and then, uh, and and it's great because it'll let you adjust these uh, ticks any way you want. Uh, you can move them. You can adjust. Anyway, so let's say you have a custom gauge, and we'll just find some kind of picture. I don't know what this is gonna do here. Oh yeah, we can find something in here. Uh, just pick one that has some uh, marks on it. We could use one of these, but I'm, I'm sure these are too standard, huh? Might have to... Uh, we're we're going to use this one. So, 40 to 200. Now, the white part here is a card. So, that would be a second one. That's just awful common here. That's very similar. So let's go with this. We'll save this image out just for fun. And get rid of that. So here's what we're going to make. Something similar to this. Uh, now this, it doesn't necessarily do the uh, uh, the face, like this airspeed, the knots, and these temperatures for the barrel gauge, and this rotating barrel gauge, the both both ends of it. You know, you you may have to number yourself. Th this would be a second. The card would be a second piece, or actually two separate pieces, a top gauge and a bottom one. So we'll just do the airspeed. Uh, and the first thing you'll notice, it, it's going to need some more of these. I got about 320 maybe. And and you notice th these just start and stops. So yeah, let's uh, move zero over here, about where the 40 is. We'll move that nine about where the 200 is. Roughly about there. Now we got to get the night right number of ticks in there. Uh, I think it's going to be 15. So uh, if we get rid of these for a minute, uh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 190. So it's 16 for this one. And uh change those to white. Uh, make them a little wider. Uh, and then the secondary, yeah. Make those white. And I know I'm doing this fast, but basically this is your primary numbers. And we already got those the right number, so it'll go from 40. And let's go ahead and do the ticks. They're a little harder, uh, but not terribly. Start will be 40, obviously. And uh, increment will be 10. And there we go. Now we have our numbers, so we can see what we're doing at least. And, uh, 
if you want. And these, the only thing about these is you have to change these here. And then you can also adjust the radius, which move them in a little bit. Now, whether you do this, I don't, I actually don't normally use the, uh, the tick numbers here. I usually just use this. When you export, it'll be a clear background. This, this background, you won't see. Uh, it's not part of this exporter. Alright, so next we got to get the numbers and these, uh, colors, or the colors, I mean. So let's start out with a white one. And you see a thing here. So let's uh, make that. Mm, I don't know. Let's look. Maybe 25. Uh, radius looks right there. Uh, start. Go down to the 40. It's too long. Looks like. But yeah, this is about the about all there is to it. And we'll bring this bag up to eighty five. And we need to make our small ticks. one I was looking for. Alright, and then we can do a green. And I like using this one. And sometimes I'll even darken it up a little bit. That's uh, way up here. We need to make it about 25 again. We can go with the same numbers. Uh, and it's going to start at 48. Somewhere in there. We'll move it inside of that other one. Just run it way around. But as you can see, it's starting to look a little more like. And we're going to go. Now, if you notice, this one doesn't always match. I mean, like, this gauge that we're looking at on the left there is actually. Uh, these sides over here are smaller, closer together than these these over here. So, like my 100 doesn't really line up with theirs exactly. My 160 is below where theirs is on the same relevant spot. But you can get it. I mean, you can get the numbers all right with your. Uh, let's see, 120, 130. See, like, if I were to do this, I'd have to get rid of all the odd numbers since they don't have them here. That's why I say I don't necessarily use these ticks. But I guess you could. You could just go in and cut cut out the odd numbers. Uh, and then the yellow. And again, I like to make it a little bit dirty looking. Rather than having a... Uh, somewhere up here... And we can go 43 plus 1.188. See if my math worked. I'll be done. Okay. <laughs> Bring that in. And, uh, yeah, 86 matches it. And this one goes to 163. 162. And then we need a red bar, and again, it's it's the same thing. So we'll do this, and again, I'd like to just darken them up a little bit, make it look. Now here, we want to start this one at 188, 230, 
343, somewhere around 340 here. I messed up it. Alright. And then we'll make this uh, thin. So we can we can kind of make it about that big. Looks pretty close to to our representation there. All right, and and that's uh, like I said, we'll go ahead and use these numbers just because I'll just delete them. So let's uh, we got five twelve. That's five twelve by five twelve, which isn't bad. So we'll save this out, and and I'll want to save it right here. Uh, I'm gonna save a PNG. Uh, just go name it whatever you like. I'm gonna just name it that for fun. It uh, automatically saves right here. But if you open it up, know that you can't see it because it's uh, clear. I'm gonna open it with uh, paint.net and. Uh, Create a new layer, and a new layer, we will, uh, just change that up to fuzz, I'm still on the layer, okay, we'll put that on top, now we have that, uh, and I would probably add a little bitty, a little bit of distortion or uh, noise. Yeah, way too much. So. And that just gives it a little detail. I, I'm not ready, quite ready to, to merge it. I want to remove. every other one and just I'm still following that pattern but I didn't really need it for this I knew, knew what I had to do see what this looks like without the extras see this is to me now it's and now the numbers are too small. They looked crowded, and this is why I. It, it to me it's almost just as easy to type them in and, and create them later. I was kind of trying to hurry, and I don't know that it helped me. <laughs> ah, there we go. All right. Uh, that's it. Now the other thing I always like to do is is put some white on the edges. So we'll have to. At, at this point, we're ready to merge this one down. Merge the, the now we have a single file that we can export. And, and like I say, the only other thing I like to do is uh, is, is just add a uh, a small uh, triangle on the corner, so right here for the uh, needle. There we go. And that would be my set. And there's your face. What the, like I say, what this one, and I, I tend to save them separate, like this one, is just the, with the clear background, so you can't see it in that editor. And then there's, there's the one just with a background and, and a place for your thumb. Uh, then, you know, in game, then I would... Uh, now, you don't necessarily have to create the background for a single one. I, I suggest uh, doing something like this is only 512 by 512. 
but if we were to take this one and instead of creating our own so let's uh, show you what I'm talking about here uh, so we would open this one and we were we would be putting it on something like this Now you can see this is this is my previous airspeed one, but I would blink that out of the way, you know, and, and just literally and, uh, maybe layer over it, and I could just blank this out. There we go. Say so, say so we didn't have that. <laughs> I might just select this and uh, I'll go ahead and close that up. Say we got rid of that now, so we'll layer it up again. And oh, I didn't do something. Copy. There we go. There we are. And then you place that there. And of course, if you wanted to enlarge it, you could. But I would probably scale it up here if it needed it so you could scale it dead even and then place that there and actually I would place it there and then add my numbers and your and your uh, lettering in other words here's where we would add our so this actually does need to be a little bigger I don't like like I said I, I would I don't suggest scaling it here I would scale this whole image up because you can do it dead evenly but for 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 the purpose of this game, I'm gonna, or for the video, I'm just gonna s scale that up, and then we can uh, just add our airspeed and knots with your uh, text tool. So just yeah. that, that everybody should know how to do that. But, you know. However your text tool works, just get it where you like it. That might be too big. Yeah, that's too bad. Is that something like that? And there you go. Uh, oh, I see. I did have a, a ring here. So this isn't exactly in the right place or any of that. But that's basically how I would do them. And I do them... Uh, As I say, to to a large. This is a two by two, two k by two k, so it's plenty size. And and you know, in fact, each gauge would be a little larger than five twelve. So that's quite a bit. And uh, that's about it. I just wanted to showcase this uh, utility and how you can you can also save any any profile or gauge. In other words, I should have saved this as a dot gauge file and then it would open back up and have this one which helps every time you make one save it out before you export and exit and then you have a, a starting base for any similar gauges and uh, we're not going to save those but that'll do it for that uh, video I hope it helps somebody and you all have a good day